So for splinting, we're gonna start with the fingers. So finger injuries. If you injure a finger, you know, by jamming it against something, uh, getting it caught and twisted, and they cannot move it or they have impaired circulation, um, there's obvious deformity to the finger, severe pain, then we're gonna treat that as an unstable injury. We're gonna immobilize it and take them to the hospital where they can be further assessed. So a couple ways you can immobilize fingers. Uh, one way is called buddy taping. And this is a quite an effective way. All you really need for this is some tape um, and ideally some padding. So you could use some gauze, you know, some roller gauze padding would work well. And what you wanna do is stick a little bit of padding in between the fingers. So if this was a uh, pointer finger injury here, what we wanna do is tape it to the middle finger that's uninjured. And what you can do is just take some athlete's tape and you can really just run this, not too tight, just enough to kind of hold it on there. So we can do one above and below the knuckle. And this allows for some gentle kind of flexion. Really your joints like to be at rest in a mid range of motion. So your fingers can you know, go all the way closed and all the way open. And really at that mid range of motion is the least tension on those muscles. So if we do some tape allowing that knuckle to move, it really allows that hand to maintain that mid range of motion. And again, you can stick some gauze padding in there just to pad it up even better. So that's buddy taping. If you wanted to add some extra structure to this, you can use things like a tongue depressor. So you can apply this in behind the fingers and then again, secure this in. And that's gonna provide some rigidity and you can secure that to the hand too, just to give it some extra holding power. So that's immobilizing fingers um, when we're dealing with unstable injuries.